Hi, welcome back to Forensic Education. I'm Mike McCutcheon, and I'm going to show you some dual-use powders today. Sometimes when we're on a crime scene and you're dusting for fingerprints, you're going to have an object that has both light and dark. Now we know if we're dusting something that's black, we'd use a white powder, or if something's white, we'd use a, a black powder. That's simple enough. But I have a couple objects here where there's both colors, where we have a dark color and a white color. So I'm going to show you a dual-use powder. It works really well, and what it does is it works both on uh, black color and white color. So let me just show you real quick on a card, and then we'll go ahead and try it on some, some real objects. So I have some cards with some fingerprints, and the fingerprint is on both. It's on the white and the black. So what I'm going to first use is I'm going to use a magnetic powder, and it's a dual-use powder. So let's go ahead with that. Oh, that's gorgeous, beautiful. So those babies are popping right up. Do my cleanup. Remember, always put the covers on when we're done. So now you can see I have fingerprints on both the white and the black using one powder. I'm gonna put those in for a close up. All right, so you can see both in the, uh, in the photos, you can see it on the black and on the white. So this is an option for you if you have uh, something that's going to be two different colors. I'm also going to show you we can use the fluorescent powder, but let's go ahead and try to use our dual-use powder on the, uh, on, on the can here, or on the bottle. So we're going to do the same thing. Go ahead. Do our cleanup. Okay, so here we go. I did the print right here. Uh, it's filled in pretty decent, uh, but you can see on the dark color, it's really dark brown, and then it goes into the uh, to the white. So let's see if we can get that in on the close-up as well. This also comes in a regular powder, a dual-use powder that's not magnetic, and we'll do the can with that one. But let's check that out. So I'm going to put that in. Okay, so that's uh, one option we have is using the, the magnetic powder with the dual-use. So now here's a... Um, I'm using this here. It's just a wrapper from the, uh, the onion bag, so you can see there's dark spots and there's also uh, light colors. So what I'm going to do for this one is I'm actually going to use the dual-use powder, the regular powder, not the magnetic powder. So remember, we just need a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and dust that. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, put our cover on. We don't make a mess. Now there's fingerprints all over this, and you're going to see with the powder, it actually is going to uh, show up a little bit better than with the magnetic powder. It's going to be a little more metallic, but let's put that in. Let me put a tag on here so we can see it in the, the close-up. So I'm just going to put a little arrow on it so that we know which one we're looking at. Okay, so you can see lots of great detail in there, uh, and that's nice and easy. Now, another option that we have, and we'll use the can for this one, is if you didn't want to use the dual-use powder, uh, you could certainly use a fluorescent powder. Now, if, you're having a, if you have a fingerprint kit in your cruiser or something like that, and your department didn't want to buy you all different color powders, that's why the dual-use powder is nice, because you could buy one magnetic powder dual-use and then one powder uh, dual use of the traditional type and you'd be able to uh, do pretty much every type of surface. But let's take a look with the fluorescent powder and how that works on multiple colors. So again we want to use a high-end powder. I'm going to use our brush that's just for, actually I'll just use the cover, there's enough in here. You want to use a brush that's only used for the fluorescent. Uh, we'll use the can. Uh, 
All right, let's see if we got something here. So for this, since I did use the uh, fluorescent powder, I do need to use my, uh, my light. I'm using the, um, the battle light, but that way you'll be able to illuminate the fingerprint. Oh, I see some great ones on here. This is great. I'm going to put it in for the close-up. Okay, you can see that. Lots of great detail in there. And again, this is using the battle light to illuminate it. Um, and now the question that I get sometimes with the uh, lifting of the, the powders or with the dual use powder is, do we use tape or should you use a, uh, a hinge lifter, one of the flap lifters? I like using the flap lifter only because um, maybe you put it on a black card and you might lose some detail or you put it on a white card and you use some detail since it is for the dual use. So if you have the option, I would lift it with a, a clear flap lifter and then it would be sealed in there and then when they're at the lab you could go they could go ahead and, and shine whatever light they needed through it so let's take my my card here and you would do just the same as you would any other you're going to put pressure on it make sure the back isn't getting dirty you're going to keep holding that in between your fingers i'm going to lift that right up seal it in Oh, I got one little air bubble in there. Not too shabby though. So I'll put that in into the close-up. You'll be able to see we got a great print right in there from the um, just using a, a nice hinge lifter. So that's it. That's all I have. It's nice and simple today. So we have our dual use powder and we also have our fluorescent powder. Just make sure you use the appropriate brush. Um, and then the, I do like the, the larger magnetic brush if you're going to be using the magnetic powder compared to the smaller ones. Uh, and that's all I have. Watch all my videos on YouTube, on my website, ForensicEducation.net. And if you want, I can come to your department and show you how to use all this stuff. Uh, I'll talk to you soon.